Hi, this video is going to cover creating a Nominatum server on Ubuntu 22. The installation is very simple, and at the end of it, we're going to also cover how to configure SSL for your installation. Okay, so the installation, as mentioned, is very simple. Everything we need is actually right here on the our GitHub uh, README. Uh, there is full documentation available as well. Um, go ahead and copy the wget for the script. And we'll just paste that here into our console. Okay, and let's go ahead and make the script executable. And now we're going to run the script, and the script is run uh, executing the script along with the full URL to the PBF file that you want to load. Um, you can load multiple files and you can also reload uh, PBF files. When you reload a file or files, it will take out any existing PBF files from the database. So to get started, I recommend using the smallest uh, PBF file. And we're going to uh, take the Andorra PBF file from the GeoFabric site. Uh, this is only 2.4 megabyte. Let's go ahead and copy the link for that. Okay, and we'll just paste that URL here. Okay, now you can, of course, use PBS, you know, from any location. GeoFabric is, is probably the most popular one, but you, if you have a PBF locally on the server, you can, you can, uh, you can load it from any location. Okay, so we'll go ahead and run that, and that's going to take a few minutes. Uh, this is on the 4 gigabyte of RAM VM. Um, obviously, the larger the file, the longer it's going to take to do the database inserts. Okay, so while the script is running, uh, let's look at uh, two items here that are commented out on the script that you can uncomment if you want to go ahead and run the functions. Uh, one is to download the optional data. Uh, that'll add about 30 gigabyte of uh, space requirement. And the second is to install house numbers if you want to install the Tiger census data. So if you want to install one or both of those, just go ahead and uncomment them. Uh, before running the script. Okay, so with 4 GB of RAM, uh, using one of the smallest PBFs, uh, Andorra, uh, it took about 7 minutes uh, to load everything and run it. Uh, with the script completed, let's just go ahead and restart Apache. And now if we go to our URL, okay, and we should see our landing page here. Uh, the landing page has links to the full documentation here. And at the bottom here, you'll see links to search, reverse search, as uh, well as GeoFabric and OpenStreetMap. Uh, this will take you just directly to the nominated application itself. The, the holding page that's installed can be removed if you want. Everything is available uh, from here as well within the, uh, within the application. I'm just going to go ahead and put in a address to make sure everything's functioning correctly, and it is. Okay. And finally, <clears throat> if we wish to use SSL, uh, go ahead and, and install the certificate, and once you've done so, you'll need to update the config.theme.js file and switch the HTTP to HTTPS, and then restart Apache for the changes to take effect. 